We might just go downstairs. Go downstairs. Should we go down? It's a Thursday again. <laughs> yeah, I think that I am maybe falling into a bit of a routine, bearing in mind that I have been self-employed for coming up to a year. I mean, I have spoke about this recently in a Substack post, but certain things are starting to click. I feel like vlogging and YouTube is one of them, which is really good. I absolutely love Substack, by the way. If you're not on there, like if you're someone that is trying to reduce how much time you're spending on Instagram and TikTok, I actually do really recommend Substack. Yes, Substack is another social media platform, but the articles on there, the writing, imagery, the sense of community, the conversations, everything about it is so different. It's like the kind of early days of Instagram, early days of blogging. So I just really enjoy it, not even just as someone on there contributing, but also as a consumer. It's becoming one of my favorite places to just connect with people, read interesting things, so yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. Planned out my day and I want to try and get quite a bit done today because Jay comes back on Sunday and I'd really like to just spend Monday not doing any work and to have some quality time together because he's been away for two weeks. And we've not really been able to speak that much because the time difference was like eight hours. While my cup of tea is still a really good temperature, I'm gonna take it upstairs and crack on with some bits of work. I don't even know where to start with this but I've been keeping a little secret keeping something under wraps I've known that it's happening for like a month and just haven't really mentioned it but I am going to be a guest teacher at a yoga retreat a full weekend yoga retreat next year the retreats are in North Wales which is where I'm from it's with Tarlow retreats and I actually went to this retreat myself last September um I just felt like I mean it was at the point where I just handed my notice in I was just, I knew that I needed to change my life and go in a different direction. And it just felt really special and empowering and amazing to actually dedicate that time to myself and that investment, because retreats are an investment, and go and spend a weekend and have like self-care and meet all of these amazing women and meet Nancy, who is the retreat owner, who messaged me and basically asked whether I'd want to be a guest teacher. And of course I said yes. I absolutely love yoga and yoga has been a really fundamental part of my ability to slow down, reconnect, heal. It still is and it always, I feel like now it always will be. The whole weekend is really going to be dedicated to living slower. So there will be nature walks, there's going to be yoga classes, workshops and the retreat owner Nancy is going to be doing some of it. I'm going to be doing some of it and um, yeah the food is beautiful there like it was some of the best food that i've ever had i'm going to put in some pictures actually of my experience and my time there it was amazing i just feel really lucky that i've got this opportunity with a place that i absolutely know and trust like i know the accommodation is amazing i know that everything that you're getting is just the best it could be so i just feel like it's nice to kind of collaborate with someone and feel so confident in what they're doing and for our teaching styles and everything's just align and match so 
yeah, that's my news. I'm going to be a guest teacher at a retreat. If you've got any questions about the retreat weekend that links to like the logistics of it, so maybe like food or accommodation, pricing, anything like that, then directly contacting Toralu Retreats is the best way. But if you just want to kind of have a chat about it with me, you're maybe on the fence and you're like, actually, like maybe you saw me go last year and you'd want to come for this specific weekend, then yeah, message me, we can chat. Now it's on the website, it went on the website yesterday. I'm like, okay, this is happening and it's going to be a magical weekend. I can't wait. I'm going to leave a link to the specific retreat that I'm a guest teacher on in the description box. And yeah, I'd love to see some of you there. I'm hoping that I don't have this in my teeth. It's half 11. I'm having the last energy ball. I made these in the last vlog. This is the last one. And a cup of coffee. And a bit of a break because I've been writing this morning and it's quite intense what I'm writing about. I basically... Yeah, I don't think I've shared it on here actually yet. I've gone back to therapy and I'm trying to form a therapy called EMDR, which I've heard really, really promising things about. And in particular, really promising for overcoming things in the past that maybe you haven't processed. And I mean, as a yoga teacher, as someone interested in mental health, I'm really interested in how our bodies can hold a lot of those memories. And if we don't process them, it can show up in our present day. And I believe that some of that is happening for me at the moment. So it just feels like the right time to explore it. I've gone back and forth about whether I should share this online and thought about the pros and cons, how it would feel best for me and my energy with this. Because obviously therapy is so good, but so draining because, you know, you're constantly analysing things and processing things. So I think it's going to be a lot, but... I'm going to try my best to document it. I've decided that I'm going to document it on Substack because I really like that platform. It means that people that are actively searching for people's experiences with EMDR are more likely to find it through Google. There's just so many things that both from a practical sense, but also to protect my own peace and other things, it makes sense to do it on there. So I've actually decided, so I was writing some of it this morning and... I'm gonna do it in chunks. I don't feel like it's the kind of thing that I can write in one stint because it's quite a lot, it's quite heavy. So I'm gonna create some content for my Instagram and TikTok, which honestly, it still feels like a bit of a dream that I get to do this during my day to day. Not even a year ago, I was trying to fit in my creative work with other things. And now I get to have much more free time to do it and make it part of my working day, so yeah. I feel really grateful for that. The dog is definitely not meant to be on here, but she has claimed it as her poof, and every time I look after them now, this is her rightful place, and it does look really comfy, actually, so I can't blame her. <laughs> I have been avoiding this, but I'm gonna go and do a food shop. I hate the food shop. It's like the adult job that I just really don't get on with, so I'm gonna go and do that. And I have some vintage parcels to drop off as well, so I'll do that at the same time, so at least I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. I got back from shopping about four hours ago. So I've just been working basically if really not miss much. I've created reels, I've done some TikToks. I have finished another sub stack that's going up tomorrow. I think that the dogs might be ready for their food. <laughs> it's not even five o'clock. And because I'm doing the journaling club tonight, I've decided to kind of pause work like that and look at the social media for today and just like have a restful few hours before I do that. Is it the camera? It's not food, unfortunately. The amount of mugs that I get through daily is actually quite shocking. I'm just making a herbal tea and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube because I just always find that vlogs, similar to the kind of style of vlogs that I film, to be honest, where they're just at home, they're like my comfort watch and I just really enjoy watching them so I'm gonna do that but I'm thinking potentially I might have to take the dogs out before because Bo's not very happy. <laughs> I'm getting ready to make dinner and I'm gonna use a recipe from Emily English on TikTok. She has the most unbelievable 
recipes. Let me just find it. It is her butternut squash mac and cheese. How delicious does that sound? So I can make it for tonight and tomorrow and then actually I can freeze a little bit of it as well because it makes three to four servings. So that's what I'm gonna have for my dinner tonight. I absolutely love butternut squash but I do resent how much of a pain it is to cut it in half, take all the bits out, take the skin off, all that stuff. But yeah, it is worth it. So today we are trying on wedding dresses. I am taking So it's perfect for my mum. Today I want to squeeze out every And now I've got all this washing up to do. I feel like that recipe, I am gonna link it because the sauce tastes amazing. I think it is a really good mac and cheese recipe, but I think it might be a weekend one to do. <laughs> mm. It didn't go quite as crispy <laughs> as I think it would. It definitely doesn't look like the one that Emily did on TikTok, but I'm sure it'll taste nice. <laughs> Cranky, the lighting in here is shocking. It's that time of year, isn't it? I feel like I'm gonna have to get a little lamp in here because I've just got the main light and who, who likes the main light, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit delirious. First of all, mac and cheese before I talk about the drink in the club. It was delicious, but I don't think that it was an hour and a half on a Thursday night after a day of working delicious. You know what I mean? It's just, I wanted like a quick and easy dinner <laughs> and it wasn't, but it was really nice. And I do love Emily English on TikTok for her recipes and things. Anyway, the journaling club, a really lovely session. I mixed it up a little bit and threw in a couple of journal prompts that I haven't put in there before. And that might have maybe made people be a little bit more reflective. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. I just, I love the journaling club. And actually it's something that I thought about, honestly, for like two years before I decided that I'd finally do it because I had all these questions of, will people turn up? Will I be able to do it well enough? Yeah, will I let people down? Like, you know, just these anxieties and worries and things that we can think about things that are outside of our comfort zone. And actually it's been really brilliant. And I find a lot of value in actually sitting down at the beginning of the month and reflecting on what's been, thinking ahead, setting intentions. So yeah, it's just really nice to come together and connect. I think so much of what we do in terms of wellbeing is individual, whereas actually so much of it is about being part of a community and connecting with other people. So it's just really nice to bring a lovely group of people together once a month. Um, I have actually decided as well, I think in December, I might do the monthly journaling club towards the new year. So it's like a new year bonanza. <laughs> Don't know why I just said that word. Anyway, you know, a new year's thing. And then do some sort of event with yoga, journaling, meditation at the beginning of December. So I need to have a think about that. I kind of thought about that while I was journaling. What I do now is after the journaling club, actually, I'm gonna leave all of the journal prompts in the description box of this video. So if you've thought about coming, but you're not sure the kind of things that we delve into, you can have a look or, if you've been before and couldn't make it, you've got the journal prompts there. But yeah, what I was gonna say is what I do now is so all of my intentions are here. I'll write that down on a separate piece of paper, put it on my bedside table so I can just have an awareness of what it is that I intend to do this month. Like sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I do find that it's easy to forget these things. Like I could just shut this journal and then not look at it again all month, you know? Um, or not look at that particular page anyway. So it's just nice to have that there so you keep in mind the things that you're working towards. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this computer off, this laptop off because I need to not look at a screen. It's been so screen heavy today. I'm gonna get in my pajamas. I'm gonna sit with the girl. I think I might read a book. I really need a new non-fiction. No, not non-fiction. <laughs> I really need a new fiction book. So if anyone has any fiction book recommendations, I would love to know, like anything that you've read that's fiction that just really stands out for you. I'm not the best in terms of fiction. I'm trying to get better at reading more stories and just kind of allowing myself to get lost in different worlds. So yes, if you have any recommendations, I'm all ears. But with that, I'm gonna sign this vlog off, take my makeup off, 
get ready to rest and to go to sleep. Thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. I don't know how long this one's going to be. I think it will be shorter than last week because it was like 20 minutes. Well, the Wednesday one. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.